Well, today, September 10th, marks the peak of the tropical season. So while that means tropical development appears less likely over the next several months, hurricane season does go until November 30th. And we actually have a few disturbances out there that we're currently tracking. Here's a look at a couple of them near the U.S., but a 10% chance for tropical development for a low just entering the southeastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. And then this area of disturbance, a 10% chance for tropical development as well. Moving into areas that are not conducive for that development and that's why it is at 10%. Although way out into the Atlantic, a 90% chance for tropical development for this area of low pressure. Now it will continue to make its way off towards the west northwest before gradually turning towards the north and basically staying over open waters. Invest 93L winds 25 miles per hour. This one just north of Puerto Rico. That one's going to continue a northwesterly track heading into Florida. Although it's moving into areas not conducive for development will bring some rainfall to the area Area and could actually impact our area, bringing some showers there, but not looking for tropical development. Then Invest 92L remains well towards the south and models continue to pull it towards South Texas and into Mexico as an area of high pressure over the southeast will help to guide this towards the west. Of course, if this change we will, of course, keep you updated on that. Check out the rainfall today. This was at Bayou Liberty and Slidell. BJ sent this in. See the lightning bolt there. Showers and storms across the north shore and down towards the south shore as well. But then after the rain moved out, check it out. A nice rainbow. This one was sent in from Allison. So we did get some sunshine by the end of the day. A look at radar right now looking for quiet skies. We'll see partly cloudy skies through the rest of your overnight hours, although some showers have fired up west of the Baton Rouge area. We'll continue to see rain chances throughout the day tomorrow. Thanks to this cold front over the central plains, this will continue to dive towards the south, pushing this area of high pressure back towards the east and we'll see those rain chances throughout the day. Here's our forecast model. We'll continue to see a partly cloudy sky into Sunday morning. Showers will start to develop along the coast, and as this front pushes towards the south, it'll combine with our warm, unstable air, and that's what will keep rain chances in the forecast throughout the day tomorrow. So make sure you keep that rain gear handy, because any rain that forms, you could see some brief, heavy downpours and some lightning from time to time. Here's the big picture. As this cold front continues to push through, it'll actually stall over the area. So what this is going to do is actually keep rain chances not only Sunday but into the early parts of next week looking for a 40% chance for showers tomorrow and then Monday and Tuesday a 30% chance before this front finally moves out of the area. Despite the rain very high temperatures today 95 degrees at the airport we were into the upper 80s to once again the low to the middle 90s across the area and just a little bit of a tease I can promise you in 12 days fall arrives September 22nd but I can't promise you some cooler temperatures right now it's 82 degrees at the airport we'll continue to see some slight rain chances over the next several days on our seven day forecast about a 40 to 30 percent chance over the next several days drier for Wednesday and Thursday but our highs remain into the lower 90s.